Citizens. I am your host, Heather Kelly, and I'm live at Sundance up in Park City today, and we're at the Music Lodge. I am joined by Natani yep. and Cody, and you have a, you've bought a film that I think actually is very, very important that people should see and need to talk about. So tell me about your film. What's the name of it? Uh, the name of the film is Akichita, The Battle of, of Standing Rock. Okay, and this takes place in North, is it North Dakota? In, in North Dakota, uh, just, just north of the Standing Rock Indian Reservation. Okay, and Big Oil, there's an oil company wants to put, well, they're probably already starting work on it, putting a pipeline, is it actually through your reservation or just off the reservation? Well, um, you see, in uh, 1862 and 1851, we signed a treaty with the United States that gave us our, 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 our boundaries to our nation. It's called the Great Lakota, uh, Great Sioux Nation. It goes through our treaty territory. Since then, America has broken all all relations, all treaties. They've never honored a treaty once. Over over 500 treaties have over, never been honored. Over 500 yeah. treaties. So this pipeline goes just north of the reservation. I think there's a point where it's like just a few feet away from the reservation boundary line. And it goes underneath the Missouri River which uh, the Missouri River at that point uh, gives water to 17 million different people in the United States. Yeah. And that's not including the other living organisms that thrive off the Missouri River. So with that, with that pipeline being put through, it happened in 2016. They started work in August 2016. They finished in March and the oil started to run in June. June 1st, the oil ran, uh, 2017, yeah. Wow. And this is important because if a leak happens, well, first of all, you're right. First, we need to go back to the treaties. They didn't even ask permission. They just said, they just okay, did it. we're going to run so, the pipeline. So, so originally, they were putting the pipeline up by Bismarck, which is which is the, the capital. Predominantly capital. white town. Which is predominantly white. And uh, when the whole community got together there, they said, hey, wait a minute, this could potentially poison our water. So they decided to move it to the reservation. Oh, nice. So the white people don't want their water poisoned, but it's perfectly fine. Yeah, everyone else. For everyone else. Yeah, every which is which is a, a long, ongoing uh, uh, storyline narrative here. Yeah. Right. What's happen to the indigenous people. Right. And why is it okay for a big oil, and they have all the money in the world, why is it okay for them to well, do Well, it's, it's, first of all, it's not okay. And this is tar sands crude oil coming, coming through this pipeline. Now they're trying to build the Keystone XL. There's already the Keystone 1, and that leaked in South Dakota. That leaked over um, 900,000 gallons in South Dakota, south of another reservation. That was just a few months ago. Now, with that, with that happening, they're bringing oil from tar sands in Canada, and they're exporting it out to other countries. Okay. This does not benefit our 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 country at all. Yeah, and, 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 and that's that's the whole big facade of it, is, is that they're, they're claiming it's going to generate all these jobs, but there's only 45 permanent jobs that are going to come from this. And the oil is not for our country, it's to be exported to other countries. Wow. So we are simply the incubator yeah. for yeah. the pipe. We, we don't We're the middleman. So, we don't get, up, get the final so, product. So it's a basically just making the pockets richer for the major investors that's it yeah and, and uh, for the for the government for the energy transfer partners so i under and there was a gathering of na the largest gathering of native americans in over a hundred years yeah and we still could not stop this pipeline so what what can be done now or is there anything i mean if, if we well, if, if everybody stood up and said okay no we don't want this oil is it a, is there a way to just shut the oil the pipeline down I mean, there's been cases of, of non-violent direct action happening where um, on other pipelines, people have shut the oil down. But you have to know what you're doing when you do that. And you're also facing felony charges. But um, this gathering, it was it was special. There was over 300 different nations there, tribal nations. In this country alone, we have over 560 federally recognized tribes in this country alone. And for us to gather in that, in that manner, it, it's scary 
scared the U.S. government, the federal government and the state of North Dakota. And the militarization of the police was intense. It got really bad. They, they started to bring in new forms of, they call it riot dispersing or whatever. And they brought in LRADs, which uh, let off a, a piercing sound. And it, a sound cannon. And it starts to mess your insides up. And burn your insides. Um, they would mace us. They would they stick dogs on us. Tear gas. Tear gas. Heavily. Basically, all of these less than lethal weapons that they don't get to use in in their real wars, they got to they got to test it out on us. Wow! And this and you were on the reservation still. Both of us, yeah, we were there. Yeah. So the so the U.S. militarized their police and went onto an Indian reservation. In well, wow, just north of a reservation, but it's still on our treaty land. So right here is the reservation where we got forced onto, but our treaty land takes up a bigger a bigger. Uh, so so basically, we made the decision to stand on on treaty rights. Treaty rights and technically, by the U.S. government, it was um, Army Corps of Engineer land, and but we were we were there, we were occupying that space uh, on the basis of the treaty, saying honor our treaty. This is our rightfully our land. But they came in and they they forcefully removed us. Wow. And, and this documentary that you have is is it is it tracing that whole storyline? So it's not an investigative journalist approach. It's definitely from the inside, from camp, with the people, and the actual battle and the strategies that were used, that we used, and the strategies that were used against us. That's what's covered. Wow. And have you? Has it premiered already? Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Do you know what theater you're premiering in? Um. <laughs> We're going to look in the, we, we are going to find out. We're going to look in the send out schedule and we're going to find out. So Tuesday night, Akichita. 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 And that word means uh, like a protector, a warrior. That's protector, yeah. defender. Defender. And it, 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 it was a society, right? It's a society. It's a, it's a society in our Lakota way. Um, a Kichita society. So there, so, was, there was many different societies. Yeah. Right. So since this gathering and, he, and you were all forcibly dispersed, have you been working amongst each other since then to try to do something or? or we do. We do. We do divestment. We've been heavily in the divestment movement, um, getting uh, banks to uh, pull their money out from investing in oil extraction projects. Uh, I went overseas twice this year uh, on a hip hop tour. Also, I do music. That's how we. Spread knowledge through that, just like film. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, we went and we uh, we addressed uh, different parliaments and different uh, banks that are funding basically the genocide of our people, the genocide of the earth, and funding this environmental racism that's happening. I so, I learned. See, I learned about you know the, the Indians in school. I was in great you know elementary school, and we learned all about oh well they you know the white man forced the Indians onto reservations, and it's still happening 150 years later. America is a reservation now, and you guys are going to start feeling it. <laughs> you guys are starting to feel it with Trump. Yeah. You know <laughs> that this is nothing new to us. We've been oppressed for years. You know, and until your until your water is directly affected, then you're going to start to start to realize that like, it might be too late at that point and that's what we were trying to like uh, wake people up with this film and with our music yeah and, 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 and that's something that this movement did was it, 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 it connected all of us all of us that were working in all of our homelands and fighting similar fights we're all you know we all got connected out there yeah and, and so and how many months were you out there total Eight, huh? I was out there for seven and a half. Yeah, something like that. It was about seven wow. months. Yeah. I do remember because I'm also a news reporter, and so we reported on some of that and seeing the the tents out there and in the middle of winter <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah, we were, <laughs> we were laughing because we were saying a year ago, you know, uh -huh, we were there and it was negative 40 below, <laughs> and we were living in teepees in Mongolian yurts. Yeah. You know, we we're living uh, like our ancestors lived. Yeah, you know, and, and, and um, that's they thought that that would make us leave. They thought that we wouldn't make it through the winter. It made us stronger. It, it made us stronger. And I mean, to think that the people who've been living out there in those winters for thousands of years couldn't make it through that winter, yeah, crazy. Yeah. They, 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 they had to come and force to leave. So how do we, 
what else can be done to talk about big oil, that the people are putting this pipeline, as you said, were merely padding their own pockets, but they are endangering people's lives. What else can be done to let people know? We can we can get these we can affect their money, and that's that's one thing that we, we do with uh, with with the banks. They put they've been pulling out uh, over three billion out of uh, energy transfer partners, and that affects them greatly, like greatly. And and um, banks like U.S. Bank, um, Credit Suisse in in Switzerland, they have released uh, and BNP Parabis. No, I forget, but. Certain banks, they've released statements saying they're not going to fund any more oil extraction. Yeah, so so that, that's really important. Where are you banking? Because like these these banks are right. are, are, are supporting big oil. So if, as individuals, if we can not bank with them, you get more and more people taking their money out of these banks exactly. who do yeah. support big oil. Yeah, I mean I mean I mean the entire city of Seattle divested. Yeah, Seattle, San Francisco, Florida, LA, Santa Monica divested two. Yeah. Billion, I think it was two billion dollars yeah. or something. Um, so. Whole entire cities have completely divested over from the banks. And once you start investing with their money, that's when they're like, okay, we all gotta, right. we gotta, yeah. the all, the almighty dollar, you know, yeah, almighty dollar. It's um, yeah. So, and that's a really good point, people. Please think about, you know, be responsible with mm. with your own money, but also know where is that money going? Yeah. Where is yes. it winding up? I mean, and you gotta think about the future because. Pretty soon, at this rate, water is going to be more, uh, uh, what's the word, more, 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 more valuable, more valuable than, gold. Than, than gold. Or yeah. gold. South Africa, Cape Town, just released that they're two months away from running out of water. Wow. So that's that, I mean, that's new news that just came out a couple days ago. Yeah. So it's happening. It's happening. Oil or uh, water res reservoirs are, are falling. Our aquifers are being depleted. They're being contaminated. You got to start thinking about your water. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much, Cody. Natani. Natani. <laughs> for joining me today and your movie, Akichi Akichita. Akichita. And we are going to see that. That's Tuesday night premiere. All right. Thank you so much for right. joining me on Money Making Sense. I'm your host, Heather Kelly. Thanks for being a Money Making Sense listener. Follow your common sense on the social media. Money Making Sense on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.